on December 11th, 2021, the end of an era for Ring of Honor. Uh, ROH is a very special place for me. Uh, Ring of Honor was the reason why me, Ed and Tom, the Scanlon brothers, uh, became professional wrestling in the in the business itself. I mean, Eddie and Tommy became wrestlers. I became, you know, the commentator, uh, journalist type thing, podcaster, promoter for Project Diverge. And it all started because of ROH. I mean, I mean, it was born February 23rd, 2002, but the moment ROH changed everything for us was March 13th, 2004. At, at our best and that event shaped and it changed our minds on professional wrestling forever and it all started at the Rexplex in Elizabeth New Jersey I mean this was what the Rexplex was it was a giant building uh, in Elizabeth and ultimately uh, it closed down in 2005 weeks after uh, day one of the third year anniversary for Ring of Honor. Now it's a giant Raymore and Flanagan's, but the Rexplex was a place. I remember being in the corner watching the first ever ROH show. So when Ed Scanlon contacted me and said, the end of an era Ring of Honor show in Baltimore, would you want to go? My answer was a simple, absolutely. Uh, so, I was in Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I was going to be in Philadelphia uh, that weekend. So, I had Eddie actually pick me up from Philly, coincidentally the birthplace of ROH. And I was in Center City. And we made our trek to ROH. So, here's the journey. And now we're in the middle of our road trip. Who's where, you ask? Ed Scanlon. John Harder from the Rexplex to Baltimore, Maryland for the final Ring of Honor show, end of an era, final battle 2021. We can't wait to be there for it. I know Eddie, Eddie's kind of happy that we're here, but I made him drive through Philadelphia to get me here, and he wasn't too, too happy about that. Right, don't you love Philly? I fucking hate Philly. <laughs> Beautiful city, but the people are garbage. Not really, I love you, Philly. Especially when I toss somebody down two rows of seats. Great story, you had to be there. So, we parked a little farther than we should have, but <laughs> what else is there? Yeah. hey, it's a good gimmick. We're walking to the venue. I'm getting exercise. It's always a plus. Anybody got an extra ticket? Yeah, we we
Rogers, wrestling out of Edison, New Jersey, weighing 207 pounds, the ace of space, LSG! Gio, I hope you're watching this. I didn't drive all this way to watch you lose, you piece of shit. I fucking hate you so much. We came here, we came here for you. Let me down. <laughs> Professionalism, what? Sweet day uh, at the end of it all. J Jonathan Gresham beat my man Chicky Baby Jay Lethal to uh, win the ROH world title. And uh, ROH at this point seems like it's done. It's heartbreaking. Um, Eddie, what's your thoughts, man? Uh, yeah, it was a good, you know, solid show, good show. Bitter, like you said, bittersweet, you know. This is a show we. The company we first came to love in 2004? Yeah, 2004, March 13, 2004, yeah. dude. And here we are 16 years later, saying goodbye to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's uh... It's life. But you know what? We, ex we actually experienced it. You know, a lot of people had ECW, you know, for seven and a half years. ROH was 19 years, and I'll be honest, I paid attention every step of the way through, but those golden years really got us to one the end to wrestling so uh, I'll do a follow-up tomorrow just a contempla a contemplation of everything but holy crap what a what a night so we're we're heading home we just took leaks uh, on, on on the building <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone all right we'll, we'll, we'll see you soon and there it was and right now I'm outside of the old Rex Plex which is now Raymore Flanagan and I'm just hanging out out here just thinking about how far my life has come and it really did lead a different path because of Ring of Honor. Me and Eddie had that conversation last night in the car talking about how ROH shaped our lives in many senses of the word. So uh, from March 13, 2004 until last night, December 11, 2021, 
Uh, I always paid attention to Ring of Honor. I mean, the pure wrestling title was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And the tournament being happening last year was the best piece of television last year. Don't give a damn who knows it. And the pure division was the best thing ROH had going into what it is now. And... <sighs> I mean, I know it was like the, you know, I was 18 years old when we went to our first ever ROH show, but, you know, just in general, I mean, the journey because of going to Ring of Honor, it, it has shaped me forever. So, on behalf of Eddie and Tommy right now, and, you know, every person who is in the industry because of Ring of Honor, I want to shout you guys out. But more importantly, I want to thank. Gabe Sapolsky for being the creative booker who inspired me in many senses. I want to thank every performer to ever wrestle for Ring of Honor, past, present, future, and now officially past, and everything going forward. It, it's actually bittersweet. I'm happy I was there last night, but at the same time, it, it breaks my heart because, you know, I watch LSG wrestle the last show of Ring of Honor as we know it. And whatever they do with it going forward, it'll never be the same. So I just want to thank Ring of Honor for uh, everything that they've done for me as a fan and has inspired me in the business itself. So ROH, thank you for everything. ROH, truly the end of an era. Thanks for watching HQ Vlog, hardwayhq.com.